In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Ultra Beat to create a futuristic vocal texture. And we're going to be using the ability of Ultra Beat to allow you to adjust the sample start point in real time whilst you're actually triggering it. So let's load up another instance of Ultra Beat. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the setting from default to come down to drum kits and we're going to use drag and drop samples which basically provides an initialized set of drum channels with on oscillator 2 you have the ability to load the sample we've got a sample to use in the exercise so if we click on the media window and you can see here with the audio assets there is a vocal here which we're going to drag in so I'm going to pick this up drag it down and it's now been loaded into the sequencer so let's bring this up let's turn the sequencer on I'm going to reduce the length to 16 because it's going to make the demonstration easier and I'm just going to provide a row of triggers and I'm just going to bring this velocity up here set the swing to about 70% let's have a listen you can hear it's being triggered there obviously quite loud compared to the backing track at the moment but we'll sort that out I'm also just going to make sure the gate length is correct on here as you possibly will know by now this is a little bit fiddly but it takes some getting used to uh, what we're going to do is turn off the velocity affecting the volume over here and I'm going to bring the volume up now just going to set that to zero and what we're going to do is we're going to use the vertical height to control the sample start position and the way you do this is to take this maximum slider and bring it over if you visualize in your minds the low velocity relating to the beginning of the sample and the high velocity so if you go low for example down here let me just take a few of these and bring them down so you can get a feel for this so bring these right down and then what we'll do is we'll take these higher so to give you the contrast so we're going to be triggering the sample at these grid positions from near the beginning and then at the end so if you have a listen let's see how that sounds so you know it's not particularly good at the moment what we're going to do is we're going to experiment so we're going to take a few of these different heights and what I'm going to do also is to create a pattern because when you've got just constant 16s on this kind of technique it's not always going to sound brilliant so in, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these out let's create a pattern let's take some of these away and what we're going to do is we're going to get a more interesting flavor so let's take also 16 off and let's just have a listen for the moment see how that is <laughs> Now I like what's going on here, but these are all too similar, so let's adjust these. There you go. That's quite nice. So there's... In fact, I'm going to take the last one off. Bring it down a touch. Now, if you wanted to adjust um, with everything here as it is, if you wanted to just experiment, what you could do is, whilst it's playing, use the minimum and maximum sliders to change where it's going to be triggering it from at those velocities. So I'll do that in real time now. It's quite nice to try and get some alternatives. I quite like that. I think it's got an interesting flavour. Let's try the maximum. Not so good. So let's go further along. So that's an interesting texture. You know, it's quite futuristic. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, which is good because we've taken away the context of the original vocal there. So this works with any long sample. You know, it's not going to work very well if you've got uh, a short sample. So it's basically experiment long vocals, 
long sounds, long evolving textures, you know, these are all going to be good to run through there. And, uh, you know, even though I said recommending, you know, don't use short textures, you never know, you might get lucky, but you're going to definitely get more understanding out of it if you're going to use a longer sample. So try some others, see what happens. Just to give you uh, an idea of how easy that is to change it, if I was to drag this vocal in here, this is a more sung vocal, so it's not necessarily going to work quite as well, but let's have a listen. <laughs> So as a vocal, um, we've kept the same minimum and maximum values there and the same positions here. So you can try this, you know, if you feel that something's not quite working out, try another sample, drag it in. But that's actually worked out as quite a good texture. Bring the volume down a touch. And the other thing you might want to do is to basically turn on the gate button. And then you can use the actual gate length create shorter stabs so you can see I'm taking the gate length of two on these it's almost sounding now like a, a chopped gated vocal effect it's working quite nicely there let's take up the last one and the number 12 as well so that's quite a nice texture so experiment drag some of those other samples in that you might have on your hard disk use the height to adjust the sample start position you're defining what the minimum and the maximum positions are